Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, glory to God, hallelujah. The Lord bless you today in Jesus' mighty name. Welcome family, the chosen beloved children of God. You're welcome to this prophetic channel in the name of Jesus. If you happen to be seeing me for the first time, my name is Samuel E. Molombe, and I bring you the word of God daily on this platform. I pray with you daily on this platform, believing God for miracles on your behalf. Please, would you consider subscribing on our YouTube channel today? Be a part of this awesome family. We have God-fearing, Bible-believing people in here that just love the Lord. You want to be in the community of believers. You want to be in the community of faith-based people. Join us now in the name of Jesus. And I celebrate all our subscribers, everyone that has made this place their hope for spiritual and lift, uh, upliftment. God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Let's dive into the word of the Lord for today. God says your silence is driving them crazy. The Lord says your silence is driving them crazy. There are people who, has, who have been spiking you. They have been poking you. They have been daring you. They want you to speak so that they can use what you say against you. But the Lord says that your silence is giving them a lot of concern. They don't know what you're thinking. They don't know what you're thinking in your heart. They don't know what's going on in your mind. And they are, dry, they are being driven crazy. They want you to speak so that in the multitude of your words, you're going to speak a word that they will use against you. God says your superpower has been your silence. Now, they are going crazy. They cannot handle the fact that you have been silent. Don't talk. Keep quiet about that particular circumstance and that situation. The Lord is saying this particular word might be coming to you just at the time when you say, you know, I've had enough. I'm about to give them a piece of their own cake. I'm about to give them a piece of my mind. Please, be quiet. Your silence is already working wonders. They are frustrated. They are confused. You know, Satan is not omniscience. Omniscience means that Satan doesn't know everything. He listens when we speak. He gets to know what you're thinking only when you speak. That's why he's confused every time we speak in tongues. Because the Bible says it's a heavenly language and he doesn't know how to speak that language. That's the language of communication. The Bible says he that speaks in tongues speaks mysteries. And another way is silence. If I'm quiet, you don't know what I'm thinking. You see? You just see my facial expressions and guess what you're going to begin to do? You're going to begin to say, maybe he's thinking this. As long as there is a maybe in the statement, it's not certain. And that's where you want the enemy to be. A point where he doesn't know what you're thinking. Walk in silence. God is changing your life in silence. Things are happening in silence. When you are down to nothing, God is up to something. Certainly, God is changing things around you. Hallelujah. When things around you are not changing, means God is changing things within you. When things within you have been changed, then the things around you will change. That's how God works. God works in silence. I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that they, they'll keep being confused and God will keep doing great things for you. I declare the blessing of heaven over you. I declare the favor of God over you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm just excited about this prophetic word. I don't know, I mean, <laughs> I need you to just be as silent as possible, just watch them. It's not easy sometimes, but just be quiet and just listen to them, listen to what they say. And sometimes it could, you, you feel like crying because of all the misrepresentations and everything, but shh, something good is going to come out of that silence. I bless your life today in the name of Jesus. I declare that God keep you in Jesus' name. Do you receive this word with gladness? I love you and shalom.